So the time had finally arrived to start digging and look for the evidence of the Romans. We knew from earlier survey work just about where we should dig and exactly what we should be looking for to find evidence of the Roman fortress. It wasn't long before we found what we were looking for, evidence of an early Roman ditch. This ditch had almost certainly been dug by the Roman army itself and we couldn't wait to dig further down to look for the evidence. Whilst photographs have been taken for the book which will tell you all about the site, we decided to get on with the dig. We dug deeper and deeper, myself and Steve trowelling back the whole area to try and expose the ditch as quickly as possible. But peeling back the soil layer by layer is a slow and painful process and all items have to be examined very closely in case there was any artefacts from the Roman period within the soil. To take just one layer of soil out of this trench took myself and Steve almost an hour and a half which shows just how careful you really do have to be. But all of this work was well worth it and even the soil at the side of the trench had to be searched by Brian with his metal detector. A Roman military ditch is exactly what we'd hoped for and here it was. The dark soil being the soil that's fallen into the ditch over thousands of years and you can still see the ankle breaking section in the bottom. To reach the evidence we needed below the ground took thousands upon thousands of buckets of soil which had to be moved by hand. With all the trenches open it was now the job to record all the details that we had exposed at the site. Just think, 2,000 years ago, Romans lived in Warburton. They cooked, they sewed, they made furniture for the houses. It was a community, and a community that was to grow and grow. But 200 years later, it had all gone. Why, we don't know, and we need to find out. But winter had arrived at the site and it was time for us to fill the trenches in and to leave it until the following year. All that remains at the site now is the distant memory of the Roman soldiers cleaning their weapons while sat outside the fort. people of Roman Warburton lived and no doubt died at the settlement, leaving evidence behind for archaeologists today to discover and put together a picture of how the settlement must have been. But this is only the beginning of the story. Over the next three to five years, the Warburton Heritage Fund, along with Manchester University Archaeological Unit and South Trafford Archaeological mm. Unit, will be investigating the site further to recover more evidence of a once ancient people.